forwards. Exodus chapter 14 verses 15 through 17. And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. But lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground to the midst of the sea. And I indeed will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. So I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army, his chariots and his horsemen. As we consider what it would take to move into new territory, to take new ground, an important part of our journey is to have faith to go forward even when we are faced with an obstacle in our path. In this particular incident that we talked about, the people of Israel, uh, they had left that land of Egypt where they were in bondage and they were journeying into a land that God said would belong to them or would be the territory they will occupy. They were moving towards what we could say as their destiny. But here, right uh, as soon as they come out of Egypt, here was a great obstacle. There was the Red Sea right in front of them, seemingly trapped for that moment. And Moses cried out to God on behalf of the people. Of course, he was a leader. He was the one leading them. And he didn't want to be left in that position, saying that he brought them out of Egypt for all of them to die in this kind of a predicament. And so he cries out to God and God gives Moses one instruction. Tell the people to go forward. Now that seems very illogical. That seems very unreasonable. A, a, a command that is unrealistic. God, there's this huge, there's this Red Sea in front of us and you are telling us to go forward. I mean, what are we going to do? How far can we go? I mean, we can go as close to the waters as possible, but then You've got this whole nation of people that need to cross the Red Sea. So really, this is an impossibility. This is a, a, an unreasonable thing. And yet God is saying, go forward. What, is he, what does he want us to do? He wants us to have faith. If God told us to get up and go out, and if God set us on course in this journey, even if we find that that path or that roadway takes us right, to a Red Sea situation. God's word, God's instruction to us is keep going forward. Trust in God because there are two things that are going to happen. There's a miraculous power of God that will go into effect and will cause the Red Sea to part so that you can go forward. God will make a way for you. The other miraculous thing or the supernatural thing that will happen is those very enemies that you were afraid of, those very enemies who wanted to destroy you, those very enemies who wanted to hold you back, God is going to deal with them once for all, take them out of your life. That's exactly what he did in the case of his people. As the Egyptians pursued them, God said, I will gain honor over them. I will wipe them out. So when you're confronted with the Red Sea, as you obey God to get up and go out so that you can move into a new territory, so that you can move towards your destiny, so that you can take new ground. If you're confronted with the Red Sea, there's one word that God gives, go forward. Have faith in God, keep moving forward. Expect the Red Sea to part before you. Expect those very enemies that were trying to hold you down, hold you back to be overpowered by God. God is ready to work. One thing you and I must keep doing, keep moving forward. Go forward. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we just ask that if we are confronted with the Red Sea before us, you will give us the courage and the faith to go forward, knowing that you are the God of miracles, that you are the God who parts the Red Sea, you're the God who makes a way, and you're the God who will cause us to triumph over our enemies. Let faith and courage fill our hearts. Enable us to go forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.